G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Trippin' Aussies, where in this episode, Em and I team up with friends of ours, Simon and Carly, and take on the great adventure of Cape York and the old Telegraph track. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, well, we're on the PDR, and we are only about oh, 60k, I'd say, away from where our first stop's gonna be tonight in a place called Lakeland. The scenery is definitely changing. We, have, we haven't seen a building, we haven't seen nothing other than just red dirt and trees. You can uh, obviously see outside at the moment, there's just nothingness. And uh, we've got the beauty of still having some bitumen to drive on at the moment, but in the not too distant future, I think, once we get kind of just past Laura, uh, which will be sometime mid well, yeah, tomorrow morning sometime, we will hit dirt, we'll be airing down, and it's gonna be the real adventure starting. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll uh, see you once we get to Lakeland. All right, here we are at Lakeland uh, Hotel Motel. This is gonna be our first stop for the night. We've managed to find a little spot here out the front, right next to the PDR, and out the front here of the, uh, the pub. We have mates of ours that are on their way here too. They're gonna to be camping right beside us tonight. So we'll have uh, someone to talk to, a bit of company. And then that way tomorrow morning, uh, we can get on the road nice and early and keep pushing north up towards the Cape and uh, for our next stop for the night. Anyhow, we'll check in with you later on tonight, but uh, yeah, we'll keep setting up and we'll speak to you guys very soon. Well guys, good morning. Welcome to day two of our Cape York adventure. Uh, we're leaving where we stayed last night at a place called Lakeland Hotel or Lakeland Pub. And it was a pretty good night, wasn't it? Mm. It was, uh, the pub was cranking. We stayed <laughs> on a Friday night and we totally forgot that, you know, people work and on Friday afternoons and the weekends, they like to relax and have a good night. So uh, the pub was cranking until about, well, midnight, I think the pub closed. So the music was pumping and they were singing and carrying on. And yeah, we're ready to go into day two. It's, uh, we've got a big day of driving today. We're gonna have three and a half or maybe four hours worth of driving. Um, to hopefully, fingers crossed, a place called Cohen. Um, there's a free campground there called The Bend. Um, and we've got friends of ours that are actually on the way back down from the Cape, which looking to hopefully meet up at the same time. It'll be a good drive. Today's the day that we hit the PDR where it turns to dirt, but other than that, it's gonna be another good day. The weather's perfect, we had a good feed this morning, and we're ready to roll. So we'll take you for our amazing adventure up to Cat York, day number two. Now as we slowly start ticking off those kilometers heading north, we leave the luxury of that bitumen and we finally hit the corrugations in the dirt. So it's time to air down and prepare ourselves for the rough adventure north. Now after a big day driving on those rough and corrugated roads, we cannot wait to stop on camp for the night. And what a gem of a spot we find. A beautiful spot right on the edge of the Cohen River where we catch up with some friends who are on their return trip from Cape York where we share some stories and find out what challenges we really have to face. All right guys, day number three and we are now heading we've got about a two hour, 50 minutes, about a three hour trip uh, to Bramwell Tourist Park. So we're heading up to Bramwell now, which is going to be pretty much the start of the old telly track. So we'll uh, probably leave our camper trailer there, go and suss out the telly track and uh, yeah, make a game plan for what we plan on doing from there. But um, we're really excited. As well, slight change of plans. We uh, we got about oh, an hour or so, not even an hour on the road and uh, friends of ours that are uh, we're behind us doing a bit of a combo with uh, got an old 60 series Land Cruiser and um, they actually did a power steering belt. So not the end of the world, but we thought because we're trying to do the old telly track and you know, got quite a lot of driving still to come. We were, we were lucky enough that we haven't gone past the Weeper Tunnel yet. So we're gonna actually head into Weeper up on the uh, west coast of the Cape and um, hopefully be able to find some supplies there uh, in town either this afternoon, if not this afternoon tomorrow. And um, yeah, that way Simon can find a new belt. Um, worst case, order one in. If they haven't gone in stock, they might have maybe a couple of days to hang around there for. Um, but yeah, instead of heading up to Bramwell today, we're gonna head to Weeper and um, play by ear as to how we go with that and enjoy the Weeper town. We were gonna do Weeper on the way back, so it's not the end of the world. It just means that we can do Weeper now, stock up on whatever else we need. Head to Bramwell and then we can uh, 
just just do a longer trip on the way uh, the way back down. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. But we'll, uh, we'll touch base with you guys once we get to Weeper, not Bramwell. All right, stay tuned. We are so glad that we made it to Weeper, even though it wasn't part of our original plan. We were able to stock up on supplies and spare parts and even enjoy a sunset over the beach in the afternoon with some great company. Hey guys, welcome to another day on our Cape York adventure. We're day number four now. We ended up stopping in at Weeper for the night. We actually had a really good spot. We found mm -hmm. a nice little campground there at Weeper Campground, uh, right on the edge of the water. And we had a really good night. It was perfect weather. We had a spot in a shark this morning swimming in the we beach. We thought we there. saw a croc last we, night. We think too. we did. We think we're not actually, you know, up on the beach. But we're pretty sure we saw like a in croc distance, just swimming yeah. in the water in the distance there. And but anyhow, we are now just about to hit the road, and we're about to hit um, our trip up to Bramwell Station today, or Bramwell Tourist uh, Centre, Tourist Park. Mm -hmm. uh, only a couple of hours drive today because we managed to find. After speaking to a bloke we bumped into <laughs> last night, actually, he um, he's done the tip and he's he knows this area quite well, but gave us a bit of a shortcut uh, that yet you, you get to cut through one of the stations up here and actually have to go all the way back down the PDR and then onto the turn off to head up to the tip. So we actually cut off about an hour worth of driving, which is unreal. Mm. You know? Hour worth of driving is a good, you know, 100 k's or yeah. close to that worth of fuel too, so we save. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. We're going to do about, about 180 k's up to Bramall today where we're going to be staying. We're going to be leaving the camp, like I said. And yeah, it should be a good day. We hope we get there not long before or after lunchtime. Anyway, stay tuned guys. We'll uh, catch up with you guys during the day. Now after a quick one night stop in Weeper and stocking up on all the supplies and parts that we need to continue our journey up north, we find ourselves back on that dusty corrugated road on our way to a place known as Bramwell Tourist Park. Well, we have made it to Bramwell guys and here we are staying at the Bramwell Tourist Park. Uh, we're here in Convoy. And we found ourselves a nice little shack to call ourselves home for tonight. <laughs> we camp here, which we're going to be leaving just over there with all those other caravans you can see. So that way, I think the telly track is you know, only a couple of k down the road, and that's what we're going to be doing hopefully tomorrow. But uh, yeah, we're going to call this place home for tonight, and it's going to be a cozy little night, I think. It's going to be good. We've got uh, live music here, restaurant. Now uh, you can get a dinner reservation if you're really keen hot showers and toilets, they got the work. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be good, good little spot and we'll uh, touch base with you all, let you know how I not ended up later on tomorrow. All right, see you soon. Now, if you guys choose to stay at Bramwell Tourist Park, one thing you do not wanna miss out on is a reservation at night at the restaurant and bar. It is an absolute vibe. The singing, the dancing, the music's pumping, there's comedy, there is karaoke. It is such an amazing vibe and it was one place that if you were staying at Bramwell Tourist Park, you do not want to miss out on. I can tell you now, you did not feel like you were in a remote part of Australia whatsoever. Good morning everyone, it is our fifth day on the Cape York adventure and today is the day we hit the old telly track. This has been something our whole trip we've been looking forward to. It's probably been a week. One of the uh, one of the top bucket list items for me on the, on our trip is heading up to Cape York and doing the old telly track and I know that for a lot of big four-wheel drive enthusiasts and the guys that love their you know, camping and outdoors, Cape York and this old telly truck is uh, is up there with them. I'm sure their top ones, you know, things to do and, and things to tick off. So uh, yeah, I'm super wrapped for it. We've got a good crew uh, amongst us in convoy, so I'm really looking forward to having uh, spending some more good time with a good bunch of crew um, hitting up the track. Um, we've noticed yesterday that the roads so far have seemed pretty good, but I know that the uh, the worst is yet to come. Which we're, we're ready for. We've got the we spoken to many people last night and Bramwell Tourist Park, if you haven't stayed there before, it is an absolutely unreal spot. They have live music going, they have like the bar open, and just, you know, comedy out there or they you know, it provides a bit of a laugh for everyone and tell you what, the whole crowd just get right in it. 
But um, yeah, last night they kicked on till about nine o'clock last night, and then they calmed down and turned everything off. But like, it just it was absolutely unreal. The vibe, the atmosphere. You felt like you're in the middle of the city. Like, it was just like pumping. There's there so many people there. It was, wasn't there? It was just I, you it did not feel like you were in like remote top end. Queensland at all, but uh, we had a great night and uh, it wasn't too big of a night for us, we kind of stopped ahead there for a little bit, but uh, we are psyched for today, put it that way. Uh, cannot, 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 cannot wait to get out of the old Sunday truck. I really can't, I'm loving it. Anyhow, about to get back on Telegraph Road to head up to uh, Bramwell Junction Roadhouse, and that's the start of the old Sunday truck, so we'll see you guys very soon. Bye. And just like that guys, we get stuck straight into the old Telegraph track. One of Australia's most iconic four-wheel drive tracks. And I tell you what, little did we know that one of the first challenges in creek crossings was only just around the corner, Palm Creek. And what an awesome and amazing little creek crossing it was. And we're uh, through the first creek crossing. And uh, I mean, other than the one little boggy spot there, that single kind of got stuck up like, you know, I'm basically you know, in combo went, got a little bit stuck up on it and we had to get the maxis out and a bit of a push and away you went. And, uh, but yeah, we pushed straight through it and even the exit for Palm Creek's a little bit steep and you know, it's a bit churned up and that compared to uh, what it was maybe a few months ago, a few weeks ago and uh, the old Luxy, straight up she went. I was so stoked with her. Yeah, some um, amazing scenery out here. Like, it's just, it looks like just bushland, but through the bushland you get all these term mound, termite mounds, which I mean, some of them are 10 plus feet tall. It's just mind blowing. Yeah. Think how long it's taken to get to that point. Yeah. We'll continue on though. The rest of the track at the moment seems pretty good. It just seems like any old dirt road track. It's nothing too soft or anything too uh, out of the way. It just seems to be the creek crossing. So we'll keep going. And uh, yeah, once we come up to the next creek crossing, we'll uh, hopefully have a bit more action. But we'll just see how we go. And uh, yeah, play it by ear, right? Eh? There's no shortage of creek and river crossings on the old telly track, so it wasn't long before our next crossing. After slowly negotiating our way through our second creek crossing, we were well and truly into the groove now of the old telly track. With its abundance of wildlife and amazing landscape, it's easy to see why this track is one of Australia's most iconic forward drive enthusiasts. And now, we reach the highly anticipated, most recognised and feared crossing at the Cape, Gunshot Creek. Now this was one creek crossing I wasn't just going to race into. We thought long and hard, assessed all the different situations, again and again until we were comfortable with which way we wanted to go and how we were going to approach it. The rest is history. Here he goes.
Alrighty, well, we just did Gunshot Creek, guys, and tell you what, we spent about a good hour and a bit sussing it out, and we did it. We committed, we pushed through the water crossing there, and we had no dramas, and the water crossing was half the bloody challenge. We ended up getting through the water crossing, and in some sections it was good waist deep in water. Yeah, we then eventually realised that the, uh, we had to get out of it, like up, up these steep exits, and uh, yeah, uh, Simon, who we're travelling with, he ended up going first, and uh, after a couple of back and forwards, we worked out the best way was to set up a few max tracks because it was just boggy and muddy, and it was just a nightmare. And um, yeah, so I think after his third goal, so he got up, no problems. And then because we knew the drill, put all the max tracks down. First, to first go with the Luxie, straight up, baby. I was absolutely wrapped. And nothing better than having a good crowd there and they're just cheering you on too. Like once you get up, they're all just yo, like giving you a cheer and all that. It's just, uh, yeah, it's no better feeling. But um, so we pushed through a gunshot now. We had a quick bite to eat and um, quick, quickly uh, tidied up a few things. There was a bit of a mud bath and Simon got a little, uh, little bit of mud in the bead of his tire. So he was realized that he was just losing a little bit of air. So we quickly had a bite to eat. And whilst we did that, we just fixed that up and we're back on the road. But anyway, we are now pushing on to, I think the next creek crossing is Cockatoo Creek. So uh, yeah, just snowed after that, gunshot, done and dusted. That was like another highlight of ours to so get through Gunshot Creek without uh, filling the car up with water. And we didn't get a drop of water in the car at all. It was unreal. But yeah, anyway, that's the go. And uh, we'll touch base with you guys very, very, very soon. Well, here we are, Cockatoo Creek on the old Telegraph track. We thought we'd uh, stop here for the night and call this place our little home for tonight. And uh, looks like we've got the spot all to ourselves. Well, fingers crossed, it's still got a little bit of light to come, but I don't think many people are gonna rock up this time of day. But yeah, we've had a big day on the road today doing the uh, old Tele track. We've just not long come back from the uh, Gunshot Creek there where we've uh, spent a bit of time sussing out how we're gonna approach it and do it all but uh all we scraped through with no issues and uh yeah what an accomplishment we've had an absolute ball today and i cannot wait to get stuck right back into it tomorrow so check out what's coming up guys because it's gonna be unreal Bye. Located off the Telly track is a beautiful spot called Fruit Bat Falls. This amazing freshwater pool is a fantastic place to refresh and wash off the dust during your journey up to the tip. Well, we've come a little bit further than Fruit Bat Falls down to Elliott Falls and Twin Falls. And you can see what another amazing waterfall. Big running creek here that runs down. Actually, I don't think one you can see in the back one here is actually Elliott Falls and where we were just before was Twin Falls and it's kind of cool how you see both the creeks kind of join into one. But um, yeah, nice little spot. But it's just starting to change. It was a little bit rainy before. It's, uh, Blue skies coming back here. But yeah, it looks good. After a quick freshen up at Fruit Bat Falls and a short lunch break, we jump back into the cars to continue what's left of the old Telegraph track. Taking a short bypass around Nolans Creek Crossing, we reach the end of the Telegraph Track for 2021 and we are pumped.
Hey guys, we have officially finished the telly, old telly track for 2021 and what an experience. We had an absolute amazing time. No uh, injuries, nothing wrong with the car and it was uh, an unreal experience. We're just now lining up here at the uh, Jardine River Ferry to cross the Jardine. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're going to continue heading north. We've got a couple of camp spots in mind for tonight and um, we can hopefully get into and if that all works out well, we'll be able to get to the tip tomorrow. But anyhow, we will uh, touch base with you all when we do get to camp for today. But yeah, like I said, old telly track for 2021 is done. What an absolute milestone it's been to, uh, to do it. And yeah, we'll be able to uh, just sit down tonight and have a cold beer and have a good feed and kind of reminisce of the, uh, the track and go over some of the footage and that. But um, yeah, it's going to be unreal and yeah, we've, we've had a great time. Here we are at the tip of Cape York, just about, and uh, we're set up here at a beach camp called Roonga Point. We've got our lovely little campsite here for tonight, a little free camp here. And we're just going to sit back and enjoy it because we've got the beautiful sunset that's going to happen here in the distance in the next couple of hours. Right on the beach here, can't complain. And probably just reminisce about the adventures we've had in the last couple of days, won't we guys? We're absolutely stoked. We've made it. This is kind of what the uh, whole challenge was all about, is getting up to here and seeing rugby. So, yeah. Plenty more to come, but yeah, that's what we had here for today. After waking up early and dropping a line and catching a few fish, we decide to head to the tip. On your way up to the tip, be sure to drop in to the croc tent where you can get yourself some one of a kind merchandise only found up here at Cape York. Well, we're on our way to the tip and I'll tell you what, it's a cool little drive. Um, we just kind of been on the rough. Rose are a bit bumpy, don't get me wrong. But we're on the right kind of like corrugated roads before and it was just kind of like nothingness. But it's gone to this like it's still a bit of a bumpy road and, and dirt, but it feels like you're back in the danger. It's like rainforest vibe and feel and yeah, it's it's beautiful. Um, but I don't think we're far now, only a couple of K away from the actual car park where we park up or the spot where we park up and we uh, We've got about a 700 metre walk up over the rocks to the actual tip and the sign. So uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful drive in and uh, not too far to go. So that's all we have guys for this episode. We have had the most amazing time up here at Cape York. If you guys have loved watching this video, give it a like or give us a comment letting us know what you loved about it. And if you want to see more guys, subscribe to our channel or you can follow us on Instagram. For now, that's all we have. Can't wait to show you plenty more on the next episode.